Сәлемет істерме құрметті ұстаздар және студенттер. Шығыс Қазақстан облысы Тарбағатай ауданы Ақсуат ауылы, Тарбағатай колледжі коммуналдық мемлекеттік мекемесі. Ағылшын тіліпәні оқытушысы Бесенғалиева Дана Ерғазы қызы. Олай болса, сабағымызды бастайық. Бүгінгі сабағымыздың тақырыбы мұйдың физикалық құрылымы. Learning objectives. Organize and present information clearly to others. Use imagination to express thoughts, ideas, experiences, and feelings. Use a growing range of vocabulary which is appropriate to the topic and genre, and which is spelled accurately. Use speaking and and listening skills to provide sensitive feedback to fears. Evaluate and respond constructively to feedback from others. Now here is lesson objectives. All learners will be able to understand a new topic and work with vocabulary. Most learners will be able to summarize the text and express their feelings, thoughts about new topic be able to use types of questions, can find more examples in the text. And some learners will be able to discuss and prepare questions related to the new topic, can make a dialogue. Well, students, I'm going to introduce new words. So, first word, blood pressure, the pressure of the blood in the circulatory system. Body temperature, how hot or cold the body is. Skull, the bone that protects, covers the brain. Hemisphere, half of a sphere. Nerve fiber, a long thin thread that carries information between the brain and other parts of the body. Neurologist, a doctor who deals with nerve and ne the nervous system. Synapse, a junction between two nerve cells. Neuron, a nerve cell. Now I'm going to show you the video about human brain. Watch carefully and please be attentive. After watching this video, you have to do some exercises. One brain or two? Although the brain is often compared to the CPU in a computer, in reality, it is far superior and far more complex. Underneath a protective skull, the brain appears to be separated into two halves, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. But this is not quite true. Information and instructions pass from one side of the brain to the other through the corpus callosum, about 200 to 250 million nerve fibers. Surprisingly, each hemisphere is responsible for the opposite side of the body. For example, information received from our senses on one side of the body is communicated to the opposite hemisphere of the brain. Some scientists think that the two hemispheres control different abilities and behavior. The left side is more related to logic and analysis, while the right is usually considered more creative and imaginative. For artists, such as writers, sculptors and musicians, the right side of their brain is dominant. On the other hand, people that require organization and facts, like scientists and accountants, often have a preference for the left side. It seems that each hemisphere of the brain is useful for certain kinds of processes. For example, the left side of the brain may handle the syntax and vocabulary of language, but the right side controls the accent, speed, and intonation of speech. Neurologists have found that if one side of the brain is removed, the other side can take over some of its roles, such as speech, by creating connections or pathways between brain cells. Will we ever fully understand our own brains? Probably not. However much research we might do, the human brain is probably capable of much more than we will ever discover. Let's continue. 
Now, students, let's have a look at this picture. What can you see? Yes, of course, this is a human brain. So, let's read this text again and then do exercise number two. Look at the exercise number two. Read the sentence one to eight and decide if they are true, false, or doesn't say. So, if you're ready, let's check. So, first sentence, the human brain controls how the body works. Your answer is true. Sentence number two, a laptop CPU is smaller than the human brain. The correct answer is yes, of course, doesn't say. Sentence number three, the two sides of the human brain are not connected. The correct answer is false. Sentence number four. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. Your answer is true. Sentence number five. The left hemisphere is dominant in both scientists and sculptors. Your answer is yes, of course, false. Next sentence. Both sides of the human brain play a role in our use of language. The correct answer is sure, true. Sentence number seven. The human brain creates new brain cells all the time. Your answer is doesn't say. And last sentence. We might never fully understand the human brain. The correct answer is true. Today's grammar question types. So first type, general or yes-no questions. Questions with yes-no answer begin with an auxiliary or modal verbs is, are, do, does, can, and etc. which is followed by the subject. Yani birinci sırağ türü bizde jalpılama nemese ya joq dep jawab berletin sırağ tür eken. Misalı, for example, are they reading? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Do you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Can I go to the party tonight? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Next type of question, special or WH questions. The WH questions begin with a question words such as who, what, where, when, and etc. Yani bizde kelesi sırahtırı WH nemese arnayı sırahtar de bataladı. Sebepi bu sırahtar türü WH harpine bastaladın sıraulı sözlerimden bastaladı. Misala, for example, Which dress do you like the most? Who is that man over there? When is the dance competition? Next type of question tag questions. Question tags are short questions at the end of the statement. They are mainly used in speech when we want to confirm something or when we want to find out if something is true or not. Yani kelesi bizdegi sırağ türü bölşektik sırağ. Bölşektik sırağ iki bölşektik tırada, onun bir bölüge negizgi bölüge, yani bolumdu bolsa, ikinci bölüge, kısqa bölüge bolumsız, nemese kersinşe. Бұл сұрақ түрін біз бір нәрсенің растау үшін, немесе шын екенін айту үшін қолданамыз. Мысалы, for example, Tom plays hockey, doesn't he? Laura hasn't come yet, has she? Molly came late on Thursday, didn't she? Next, rhetorical questions. Rhetorical questions with obvious answers. For example, can birds fly? Do dogs bark? Do you want to be a successful in this world? Rhetorical questions that have no answers. What is the meaning of life? Who cares? Is there no chance? Бізде соңғы сұрақ түрі риторикалық сұрақ, яғни риторикалық сұрақ, айқын жауапты сұрақ немесе нақты жауап жоқ сұрақтарды айтамыз. Look at the exercise number 5. Read the examples and find more examples in the text. Well, students, let's continue. Now, 
Let's have a look exercise number six. Decide whether questions one to four are yes, no, WH, tag, or rhetorical. In pairs, ask and answer the questions. Well, let's check your answer. So first question, wouldn't be great to be happy all the time? Rhetorical question. Question number two. We can learn so much more about the brain, can't we? This is tech question. Question number three. Why do we sleep and dream? This is WH question. And last question. Does your brain work better in the morning? This is yes, no question. Listening task. Listen to two people talking about human brain for questions one to five. Choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Please be attentive. Hey, Max, how are you doing with learning Spanish? It's going okay, Tina, but it takes such a long time to learn another language well. I think the only thing I really know is how to order food at a restaurant. The online videos are good, but I find it hard concentrating with my little brother in the same bedroom. Perhaps I should go to a language school instead. But how long will that take? I wish we were learning Spanish at school instead of French. Well, look, Max, learning another language is not the same as learning your first language as a baby, is it? That was a lot simpler because you just listened to the people around you and copied them without realizing that you are actually learning a language. But if you think about it, that took years too. You don't pick up an advanced vocabulary until you're a lot older. Anyway, don't think of all the time it takes. Just think about the benefits of being able to speak two languages. Such as? I read that people who can speak two or more languages are able to concentrate better. Maybe I should learn Spanish, because I really struggle with that. As soon as I sit down to study something, I start thinking about other things. Chores, Facebook, emails, what I want to do on Saturday. Anything apart from what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe learning another language would help me pay more attention. Are there any other advantages? How about a bigger brain? There was an experiment in which scientists measured some young soldiers' brains and then taught them some new languages. Afterwards, they measured their brains again and found that a part of their brain, the hippocampus, I think, was actually larger. They also found more pathways between the neurons, which means there's more brain activity. That is impressive. It is. But how about this? Learning a new language may make your brain grow old more slowly. Neurologists have done brain scans on older people that speak two languages, and the scans show that they have brains that work more efficiently than people their same age that only speak one language. In fact, they function like younger people's brains. Wow, so learning a new language can improve my brain in lots of different ways. I think I'll try harder with my Spanish tonight. Why not? Let's check your answers. First question, where is Max learning Spanish? The correct answer is at home. Sentence number two, Tina says that learning a new language is easier when you are younger. Sentence number three, Tina says that she wants to be able to focus more. Sentence number four, soldiers who wear thought new languages had a large hippocampus. In last sentence, research has shown that speaking more than one language helps the brain work better. Good job, students. Let's continue next task, speaking and writing. Imagine you are an interviewer, your partner is a neurologist. Read the text again, then ask and answer the questions about the brain. Exchange rules. For example, how much does the brain weight? It weights about 1.4 kilogram and etc. Here is your home task. Homework exercise number 9, AB, on page 71. And I want to give you extra task. Prepare two yes-no question, two WH question, two tag question, and also two rhetorical question.
Well, students, today we've talked about human brain. In this slide, you can see KWL chart. So first, K, what I already know. Second, W, what I want to know. And L, what I have learned. Please write your thoughts to these columns. Well, I hope that you've got more useful information from today's lesson. So today's lesson is over. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your participation. See you next lesson. Goodbye.